Jacob Cheadle, the Czech winger, closes all the way off. Rask and scores and barrels into Rask, and Rask is down. Cheadle did not hesitate one bit, and Rask is not even moving. Well, isn't this still a penalty, Jack? On the net drive, it didn't look like he got in there with a push from McAvoy or Pasternak, and he's just going to run over Rask. We'll have to take another look at it, but Cheadle with the great speed to the outside, Pasternak can't handle the speed. I mean, it's not even a move. I guess they will say that McAvoy made contact, but... As the forward in today's NHL, you got to avoid contact with the goaltender if you can. Maybe he was trying to avoid contact, just wasn't given the space on the back check by McAvoy. Wow, that that is a skater going in well in excess of 20 miles an hour. You got to you got to try to picture him as he's releasing this puck. I mean, it's a spectacular goal. Speed to the outside, backhand, forehand, short side, right under the crossbar. Spectacular in that sense. Was he trying to get to the right of Tuka Rask as he cruises through the very top of the blue paint? And did McAvoy take him, take his body, and force that contact with Rask? And you hope Rask's okay. He's playing terrific hockey right now. Now yeah, Rask on all fours for a moment. And he's coming out with 128 to go in the first. And I think this goal is going to count. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think if not for for the McAvoy contact, it might be debatable. You can see Rask's uh, left eyebrow is opened up. The uh, mask came flying off. I mean, his head hit the ice. And... Wow. Yeah, that's a good look. The ankle cam because the contact clearly is before Cheadle smashes into Rask. Oh, man. 